and we're back about we're back baby uh not that perfect place i have to say it's not it's not ideal but um i'm gonna try to pick pick it up a little bit i want you guys to be able to see behind me um so the this is very uh not type not super stable and uh i got equipment i got my tripod that i love my camera that i need the skateboard uh the good thing is by putting it like that putting it like this not uh vertical not horizontal um we need the horizon i'm able to be kind of safe it's not super safe uh i'm not i'm not the most courageous guy when it comes to taking risk um i think it's from my childhood of being enabled or being protected but not nice is this pretty nice right Again, I don't know if it's legal to be here. I've um, never been here. I didn't even know this existed. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I guess yeah, that brings us to the subject of today. Um, so today is super simple. It's fucking this song, uh, "Shine Down Second Chance." Second Chance. We've been listening to a um, to it for a while now, for a couple hours. So it's not as new as it uh, came out. It wasn't snacks. Okay, let's make sure that we have this. Again, not super safe, but hey. Uh, again, we're looking for. Good. I have it. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. I want to show you something. I think it's beautiful. There's probably like boats that comes here once in a blue moon. This is nice, dude. This is fucking nice. I love this. So, this is what we have over there. Probably not a lot of people that passes here. I don't think I'm safe. The people that film here at five at five or two a.m. Right? Be working, and the great thing is the sunrise is gonna be here, so it should be fine. And by the time we have the sunrise, we'll be able to do something else. I'm happy, dude. I'm really happy. See, could be stressing about the money, but I spent. I didn't think. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Special. Mm. Best thing here. Mm. About the song. I'm starting to start talking about how in grade 11, tell the kinship to it. The reason was my parents were putting pressure, again, being worried. You know? I had good people in my life, I'm lucky. Being worried for me. Are you gonna be making it? Are you gonna be able to make it? Huh? Um. To a certain degree, I understand that. This is beautiful, but this. This where it's at. Can you see the moon? Moon and cloud. My mom, she bought me the best tripod on for the God. I swear to fucking God. But, you know, I had good people in my life, right? Like, when I heard this song, my parents, parents, my mom and dad, putting pressure on me. I had a job to find something. The reality was cool with ending. Now, and my friend, we're taking somatic gear. You have to do whatever the fuck you want. In my mind, I want to do the same thing. However, it was different. A somatic gear didn't mean they wouldn't go to school, they would be working, they would travel. A somatic gear for me was staying at home and playing video games, which is kind of, kind of cool, kind of super fucking cool. But again, It's not the most fulfilling thing ever. You know? To a degree. I put myself in those shoes and I'm like... And somebody coming from, you know? And, um... It's weird because... At the end of the day... Were they right? Were they wrong? I feel like... 
me being here right now is a result of all those things. No, I was right. I know I understand where they're coming from. Okay? Um, I was always close to my parents. But not as close as you would think. Like, I was talking about video games 24-7. Uh, I was talking about band 24-7. I was talking about fucking thing. It wasn't interesting to them. Um, was it two-way streets? They would talk to me about things that I'm not interested in. They would talk to them about things that I was inter not interested in. Usually a problem with communication, right? Do you get any one of your friends? Do you get any one of your, of your exes or girlfriend? For example, you meet this guy at the, um, I don't know, we'll do fishing. This guy becomes vegetarian. You meet this guy at a, at a Star Wars convention. That person li stopped liking Star Wars. He liked the drive that the girl had when he started dating her. Time is gone. Look at this shit. This is beautiful. Again, a coastal town. Coastal town. I feel like, it's weird because why am I so. F <laughs> Life is weird. Why am I so dragged? Why am I so attracted to water? Or water, water like like this? I could swim in this. Right? Now the idea just came to me. I have to swim. <laughs> uh, probably disgusting water, but hey. I, I'm an Aquarius and I live in a coastal town. What do you fucking say? See, because I come back to this, there's there's interest that you're gonna have with people, and when the interest is not a lot of your friendship, and I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry, I am sorry to say, but a lot of your friendship aren't based on real friendship. Your blood of your friendship are based on a common interest. And when a common interest, when a common interest is gone, the friendship is gone. So let me show you guys. Let me let me. Uh, my apologies. Let me give it to you as another example. Right, we have a um, a friendship that comes from a person that you work with. And you're you're always suffering from oh, the bus not being nice, the the schedule not being nice, a lot of work, and you get a you get a a, a common interest like we're both in this together, right? Uh, but then you realize, you know what's insane too? Sorry, ADHD. Look at this shit. Because of the reflection of the water, it seems like it's bigger, but it's the reflection of the thing, so it's not that big. Water is fascinating, fascinating. Okay, that's good. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Give me a second, guys. We have a little issue. Okay, are we back? Are we back? Okay, my take, my uh, take for the tripod. Um, unscrew itself. It's normal. It's because we're moving a lot, right? Uh, I don't think a lot of people. I don't think when they design the tripod, they're like, yeah, there's a guy called Ing Vendetta. He's gonna, he is gonna <laughs> use this lo uh, electric skateboard, electric longboard, right? Only we're thinking about that. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is free. This is fucking free, dude. Tell my father I've done the best I can. I know uh, Soul777 like an ice cream, so I've been cheap. Oh, friend. How we doing? Hey, uh, I have cars. Maybe they hear me. Oops. It's 5 0. It's 5 0 8. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, so, yeah, so. You have those interests, and I'm sorry to say, I'm, I am sorry. I am deeply sorry to say that those friends aren't real friends. They're friends with you because they have a common interest. You're a friend with you because you're, 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 you're going through something at the same time. And that's amazing. You can be friends for that. But when you realize, oh. when you realize that the friendship is based on this, what do you do? Do you put the, in the effort for a temporary friendship, or do you put the effort for a, a, a friendship that's long term? And I think the answer, both answers are good. I mean, you're going to have some friends that you know they're going to be with. So for example, the last time I had were at seven years. I know that I had a lot of friends there, but I know that those friendships weren't necessarily going to translate into a friendship after work. Um, I understood that. So I think a lot of the time I was like, fuck that. I'm not going to talk to you guys when I'm, when I'm done here. Which wasn't the right thing to say. It wasn't the right thing to do. Because again, it doesn't matter how long a friendship is. They still deserve respect. You cannot actually tell somebody, hey, we're going to be friends for like a month or two. Fuck you. You know, when you go to a travel, when you go to a, uh, another country, you make friends there. They're not going to be your friends when you come back to your country. Uh, but still, 
and that's something I have to understand, but I feel like everybody uh, has a right to be a friend, everybody has a right to respect, and they have a right to be to kindness. I feel like this is a big thing. Realize this is my life, I hope they understand. So, a lack of interest, uh, we're close, my parents were close, right? The lack of interest made us less close with my father and my mother. My mom, she was, my mom, she was very, my mom, she's very, she is still um, very, very social. Um, my mom, I love my mom. I, I love her, but she's the kind of, of person that needs to go out. That, that well, maybe not right now because she's older, but uh, when I was a kid, she needed to go out. She needed to have a party every Saturday. She needed to have a, a social outing. She was bored. She, she, she. She needed to be stimulated, socially speaking. Um, and me, I was just good being in my own space. See, the problem with the kid that I had, the problem... My father was a drinker. One night, he decides to go crazier. I just watched Dark Night today, so it's kind of good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my problem as a kid was I was so focused on gaming. And I, I know I'm repeating myself, so focused on shows. And I created this my, my own universe and the problem with this is when you're constantly sheltered when you're constantly in that universe of I'm um, simulating myself I'm having my own discussion I'm having my own um, kind of like a world if you will um, when my world and then my room you become addicted to that so you see here this little thing not that scary right but to, to do it because I haven't done it in a while and you lose that confidence, you lose that, um, that social ability. So, because I was so in, so induced in the video game and the, the, the music, right? I, I, I was talking about how I, I don't even need to be with other people. But that's, a, that's another problem because this, this constant bubble becomes something that you're, you're addicted to. So there's something called agorophobia. Agorophobia is you're afraid to go outside. You're afraid to go out. Yeah, afraid to go outside. So you're seeing a lot of people doing that. A lot of people that have agorophobia didn't start with agorophobia. They developed agorophobia from staying in the apartment for a while. So the apartment becomes your safe place and your safe place gets smaller and smaller and smaller and because it gets smaller and smaller, it's more reconforting. But then when you go out of that place, it becomes um, the universe is bigger. Um, I'm the perfect example of that. My, I told you guys when I was 20, I was in a big depression. And I was, I was scared to go outside. I was scared to go anywhere but here in the apartment. I was scared to go to... Well, I could go to my father, but my father was... Um, it's funny. I could go to my father. Cause my father was five minutes away. I could go to my mom. And my mom, she was uh, she lived far. But she, I had to take the bus. And the chances that I'm going to meet somebody in the bus are fucking rare fucking rare dude and uh yeah but at the same time i'm thinking that i developed agoraphobia i was afraid to i was afraid of people i was afraid of going out and i was crazy but it's the truth so um I, I i lived in that world constantly and the second you wanted to take me away the second one you want me to bring me back to reality straight back to reality oh the gold gravity oh the gold mandy uh eight mile people eight mile the movie from with eminem you don't know it Oof. Rabbit, be a rabbit. Uh, so, so basically, um, they would try to bring me back to reality, and I, I, I was very resistant to that. Um, but again, you cannot force somebody to have the same interest as you. I don't think that's, I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's fair. But if that person, you're trying to look out for them, it's possible. Um, why are we talking about this? We're talking about this because second chance. Then I'm not angry. I'm just saying. Sometime goodbye gives a second chance. See, this song is about a guy who wants to become an artist. Of course, I should have started with that. This should be the intro, but fuck it. We're 14 minutes in. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so basically, um, it's about a guy who wants to become an artist. And he's like, okay, well, I want to be an artist. What I'm going to do is super simple. Um, I'm going to live the life of an artist. I'm going to go on the road. I'm going to play my music, and I'm going to hope it works. Um, and in the, in the show, you got to, it, it like, and I still remember that I was, I was in grade 11, I was, I was 18, I'm 31, 13 years ago. So in the video clip, there's two, there's two people, there's the person that she's a, she's a, she's a girl, she wants to be a ballerina, she wants, so you see her going to work and you see going to home and being a ballerina. And you see a guy working at a fish market and he come back home and he's like, he's a musician. See? And the song is amazing, I'm fucking, the first time I, I, I heard it today, 
fucking teared up. I didn't cry because I'm, I'm, I'm a bad boy. I'm a gangster. I'm a badass. But I, I fucking cried. <laughs> okay. I just said I didn't cry and I said, okay, I, okay, you got me. I cried. Uh, fuck. I cried. Um, because it's such an amazing song. So again, my parents, uh, I was in grade 11 and they were talking to me about, hey, you should find some job. You should find some, something to do. Like, they didn't, they didn't even care if I was working. I just had to do something. I just had to improve my life, whether it financially or intellectually. Which is like amazing parenting. I didn't see that. I saw it as them as wanting to control me. That song, when I was younger, I, I didn't understand it as much as I understand now. It's basically the guy, even the chorus said, tell my mother, tell my father, the best I can to make them realize this is my life. I hope they understand. And that's the song. He's, he's saying like, hey, tell my mom to my father. I have to do what I have to do. Like, I understand that you're worried about me. I understand that you're, you're very worried about me um, not doing what you want, not, not being a, a positive functioning member of society but you need you, everybody has their own pace it seems like an excuse and it is everybody has their own um, own limit own I wouldn't say I don't think limit is the right word but I think limit is a pretty good word though see so I, it was more about that it was more about the fact that I I, um, I didn't I wanted to do my own thing and you know those kids at school that said oh we're gonna take a year to attic? well knowing myself I said a year, and I would have done a year. Like, for example, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be unemployed. I'm unemployed right now, and I have nine months of unemployment. The real reason why I'm afraid, well, I'm not afraid, but the real reason why it was a shock for the thousand dollar in my bank account is because I thought I had more. Now, why am I good with a thousand dollar? Yes, with the money, I, with the amount of money I deposit today, I'm at four thousand. Okay, I pay, uh, let's say, I pay eight hundred a month, all included. I pay eight hundred. I don't know if you're good at math, but that's five months. Right, and I still have seven months of checks that kind of come in. Um, I'm making eight hundred eighty a month. A, a, I'm making a thousand seven hundred twenty a month, and I need eight hundred to survive. So every single month that we have is two months. So seven months become a year, and two months. Now I have that four and five months. It's a year, and uh, oh, I just saw a bird shit, guys. Look at this shit. Bird just shit. You clearly see him shit. Oh, the camera's not good enough. You should think they went. Okay, that's cool. And uh, yeah, I'm good for another year and a half. A year and a half, guys. See? That's kind of nuts. That is kind of nuts, right? But again, I know I'm going to have to work. So now this song, why am I going here? I had a lot of people wanting to, wanting to care for me. Um, I think it's weird. Even at the job I had, my last job, a lot of people, holy... I thought it was weird. I thought I had something. It's the sun. It's rising up. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? On this sudden insane, even the man and the moon disappeared. Somewhere in the stratosphere. So I always had people that cared for me. I don't know if it's because of the way I act. I don't know if it was because of the, the person I am, what the aura I'm taking out. I've always had people, and I had a lot of people be big brother to me. I was talking about Simon. Simon was a huge part of my life. A lot of people at work were a huge part of my life. A lot of people at work really wanted to, to take care of me. I, I, they, they fed me. They were cooking for me. Because they knew I couldn't cook. Look at the sun, and now it's becoming more powerful. You're seeing this. This is beautiful. You're seeing the, uh, the cloud. Now they changed color. And uh, that was 18 minutes ago. It wasn't that long ago. See? See? Again, not super stable. <laughs> not 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 super secure, but hey, let's live life a little bit, right? So, um, well, again, they possibly saw me, <laughs> bro. They possibly saw me uh, going here and saying, "Oh, this guy's afraid of this. We need to we need to help him." And those guys really cared about me. They really cared about me. And uh, when I left, so when I start working at a place, it's more about to um, the place I'm working now because my my parents they understand that I'm older. See, it's weird. My mom she. She's always worried about me, money-wise. And she's cooking, and I fucking love that she cooks because she's gonna give me food, and she's gonna be like, hey, I, I cook this for you. To me, that's, that's good, okay? It's not like I'm, I'm, it's not I'm financially helping you, but uh, it's, I want you to, be, to eat good. I know you cannot cook, so I'm gonna help you out. My father did the same thing. My father, when I wasn't working, he wouldn't, he wouldn't give me money, but he would give me like, a, oh, 
I have my father for you. My father is very weird. My father, my mom, yeah, it's weird. My mom, she's very expressive. Very, very expressive about her love. Um, she's gonna tell me I love you a couple times in a call. She's gonna say, okay, bye, uh, bye, ink, bye, ink, bye, ink. And uh, she's gonna call me Seth, because my real name is Stefan. Hi. Hi. Uh, so yeah, she's gonna call me Seth. And uh, that's pretty much it. So she's gonna say, hey, uh, Steph, have a nice day, have a nice day. And because uh, she, she's weird, you know? My father's weird, my father is not expressive. My father, uh, when I wasn't working, and you see, that's, that's the way of saying, I love you. But he would, he would buy me a bag of rice, he would buy me, I, I, I'm being honest here, I'm being fucking honest. He would buy me a bag of rice, and he would buy me a bag of, uh, a, a, a pot of peanut butter. And I would say, why would you buy me that? Oh, it was not special. And when you look at the, when you look at the store, it's not special. He's worried about me. He knew that I could eat rice, and he was like, okay, well, I'm gonna help you out, right? And uh, I always had people that did for that. And um, I'm, starting, I'm talking a lot about the last job I had, because the last job I had, when I started the last job, which was seven years ago, and well, almost eight years. What am I saying, dude? I'm not good at math. I started working there in July 2018. 2018. July 2018, where May 2024. Holy shit, that's not even five years. Anywho, um, see, that place, um, when I started there, I wasn't one. I didn't want to content create. Okay, I I I always wanted to content create, but again, I I'm having a hard time coming here. You think I'm gonna be? You think I'm gonna think that I have what it takes? This is why I love the trajectory that I had for content creating. Um, the work that I'm doing right here takes guts for me. It doesn't take guts for you. It doesn't take guts for your neighbor. It doesn't take guts for somebody. But for me, it takes guts because again, I'm exposing myself. I'm being vulnerable. You know, it's harder. Um. Again, the, the thing that I had was I was being bullied. So I said, okay, I need an escape. That escape was creating content through video games. Again, remember that I'm a fucking gamer. Look at this shit. Tell my mother, tell my father, I've done the best I can to make them realize this is my life. I hope they understand. So amazing and you see those those uh hey, like again i was sharing content from gaming it wasn't me when i started creating content it wasn't me it was in vendetta now i started showing my face i started being myself with people i started being friendly with people and i became more stiff in vendetta i'm still in vendetta i'm still ink but i'm also stiff you know it's 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 very very close to the real person i am um the person that you see on camera is very authentic very genuine um and I think that uh, because I got confidence from you guys again, I was able to show my face. And because I was able to show my face, I was able to start making videos. I was able to start making videos. I'm doing this deal right now. Long story short, that's it. Um, but you see, um, a lot of people at work, they were kind of making fun of me because I wanted to do content creation. And I, you could you can see how we want. I started seeing like, oh, fuck you, I'm going to make it. Are they kind of like a, 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 a uh, kind of, I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove it to you. Then you realize that those people care about you. Those people, they, they do care about you. They, they want to be, want you to be okay. Um, they, they don't see it. Even you can understand, you can understand them. An artist, you take a painter or an artist, a musician, a comedian. You're like, dude, there's so many of you guys out there. Um, so this for artists, for, for graphic, for graphic designer. With AIs and shit, it's coming so fucking quick. It's crazy. It's very scary. But who knows? For me, it's, it's easy because I can I, AI can mimic me, but it cannot mimic emotion. I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, look at this shit. This is beautiful. You guys realize how lucky we are. This is free. This is fucking free, dude. Holy shit. This is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, my second leg is fucked by, uh, by not moving it enough. If I'm doing like this, I'm gonna move it. My two hands are here. I'm not like, doing what you think I'm doing. Uh, but I need to put back some blood in there so yeah those people they, they weren't saying hey you're not gonna make it it's like okay well you know that you, there's not a lot of chance that you make it it's very very rare and again um i understand that content creation for example um a lot of people are saying oh consistency ink you're doing good you're you're consistent you're working hard and i do agree with that but there's so much there's not a clear recipe for uh there's not a clear recipe for for this uh i had a friend my I was streaming Resident Evil 8 yesterday, and I had Cappy, Capricorn or Jade. Um, so Jade came in yesterday, and she was like, "Hey Hank, how you doing?" I was I was good. I told her like, 
don't know why I'm sleeping a lot. And she came in to reconfort me. But the funny thing about Jade is she just quit her job because she had a she had a good job, but that job was a dead end. She didn't see herself ruin the company. And she's like, well, I'm not living like I want to live. I'm not living um, we're the same age. No, she's younger. She's 29. I'm 31. She says, oh, I, I want to be, I want more for myself. I want to see more for myself. Uh, and it's funny because the way she's thinking is amazing. I couldn't think like that. The way she's thinking, I can't. Um, she was saying, it's good for now, but in 20 years, what am I going to do, right? So the girl who just quit her job, who just quit her job, right? She has no job. She's worried about me. And I'm like, I'm so fucking lucky to have people like that. No, she's amazing. But she's not the only person in my life right now that's amazing in my life. There's a, there's a, <laughs> there's possibly two handfuls of people in my life that are really fantastic people. That really cares about me and I care about them and they want the best for me and I want the best for them, of course. Um, but those two handful, they seem lucky. Most people, they have a, most people, they have two cheap people care for it for them. At 20 years old, at, at 20 years old, you're gonna realize that nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit about you. Nobody gives a shit about what's going on in your life. They're all busy with their own shit. And that's okay, that's fine. That's completely fine, but you have to realize that. The fact that you realize that is a huge shock. That's what caused my depression. I keep on saying my depression, my, when I was going through my big depression. The one I had last year was a depression, sure. The first one was horrible. Uh, the reason why I'm having this tattoo is because of that depression. Um, so yeah, so, long story short, um, I keep on saying that my friend unalive himself and the girl that I love left me. That was a shock, sure that was a shock. But I kept on saying, I'm good, I'm, I have people that care about me, I have people that are gonna be there for me. The real shock was that I had no one, see? But we're going back to the subject, we're going back to this focusing key, ADHD is a bitch. Uh, but I love her, and I'm gonna marry her. Till the day I die. Till death, they say marriage, they say uh, weddings, they have the saying. Till death do us part, or well, me and ADHDs for life, baby. Pass my kids too. Sorry, but you're welcome. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful illness to have. Um, so yes, I'm thinking about this, and like those people, believe it or not, believe me or not, uh, you better believe it. Now we're talking to Mikey. ADHD is full strength because we had chocolate today. So, uh, <laughs> those people, they, they they kept on saying to me like, hey, Ink, you should. Go for a job. Go for school. It's not that they don't they don't believe it. It's because they want to be safe. And there might be a point in my life where I understand their perception where better to be okay and safe and to be unhappy than to be constantly questioning, am I going to make it, you know? I'm not at that point yet. I'm not at that point. I still want to give this a shot. This is my dream. Creating content is my dream and passion. Guys, there's a reason why I film seven videos on average a day. Right? Because it's my dream. It's not like I'm bragging, but I'm not. That leg is fucking killing me, dude. It's uh, sleeping. Is that the right word? I think so. But yeah, so, I was just super lucky, dude. Look at this shit. And if you look at the gate, the gate is supposed to be locked. It's open now, but there's a, there's a locker. There's a, I don't know what you call it. I don't know what you fucking call it. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, so, those people, See, and I'm thinking about this song, and those people, they, they, wanted, they wanted to do the good for me, they wanted to do the best for me, but again, you have to tell them, it's my life, you know? And I'm, you have to tell them, it's my life, I'm, I'm going to do what I need to do, what I want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that, there's nothing wrong with wanting to do what you're supposed to do. And again, that what you're supposed to do is, um, it's not necessarily the good choice, it's not necessarily what you need to do, right? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> See, for this song, like, it's all about it's all about understanding the pain of saying this guy is not saying hey, this this guy is not angry, right? He's not saying like fuck you, I'm gonna live my life. It's like I understand that you're worried about me, but you have to give me a chance. You have to let me fly. Tell my mother, tell my father, I've done the best I can. To make them realize this is my life. I hope they understand. And I'm not angry. I'm just saying. Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. 
again, what I'm trying to say here, what, I, what I'm really, really, really trying to say here is no matter what, um, see, those people, you understand that they're, they're here for you and you feel bad because you know, you understand that they're worried about you and you're like, don't worry about me. But you, I, my, especially my mom, I could tell her not to worry. She'll worry the next day. She'll worry the next minute. See? And I think it's normal. I think it's not for when you care that you're worried about something. Someone. Right? I think that's normal. And it's hard. Even if I make it, you know? It's volatile. It's an it's a artist job. Like, maybe people fuck with my videos today. Maybe people fuck with my video tomorrow. We don't fuck with it next week. Okay? Like shit. It's not good. It's risky. That's what I don't understand about life. That's what I don't understand about myself. I'm seeing this. Holy shit, it's risky. I'm gonna create and that's not risky. Does it make any fucking sense? No. But yeah. Yeah. When I started, you see, I was talking about, about me making, uh, me doing. Uh, that's crazy. I cannot believe I'm gonna say that. Um, I cannot talk about how I'm making so many videos a day. That's nothing good. When I start streaming, when I start playing, when I start creating content, it was again with video games, right? And I was working from 7 to 3. I was working from 7 to 3 and I was streaming from 4.30 to 11. Yeah. Sometimes more than that, sometimes a lot more than that. I was lacking sleep, you know? And it sucks because I was an asshole. I was a complete asshole. They would tell me, hey, why are you so tired? They're tired, stay home. I was like, dude, I'm working. I'm, 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 I'm living my dream. And I put my, my dream in front of people. I put my, my I still put my, my dream in front of people. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I don't know if that's the human thing to do. It's easy to say. <laughs> it's easy to say, hey, I made it. I, I fucking made it. But I fucking, I had dreams and I realized them. I had dreams and I made them a reality. That's super easy. That is insanely easy. The hard part is remembering that, oh yeah, for that dream, I have to give up on that. I have to give up on this. I have to say no to this person. And I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I feel bad. I, when I did that before yesterday, today were Thursday, right? On Monday, um, there was this girl, right? I'm not gonna say her name because I don't want her again. It's not. Uh, it's not about. It's not about that. Um, so, on YouTube, I'm not doing well. On Instagram, I'm not doing well. On Twitch, I'm not doing well. But on TikTok, I'm doing well. I'm doing better than, uh, than most of the people I know. And it sucks. I, I know people that have been streaming for, for, for fucking five, six years. And they have less subscriber, less follower than me. But yeah, this is just a fucking number. So, I feel bad because... Uh, see? That person... Ah, for fuck's sakes. Oh shit. Oh shit. That person came to me and said, "Hey, I need your help. Um, can you can you give me a shout out or can you do something?" And she's been my friend for like more than a year. I think she's been my friend for fucking I don't know, maybe almost two years now, more than two years possibly. I was uh, reviewing Chucky on Instagram, so it's a while ago. Um, but she 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 basically said, "Hey, can you give me a shout out? I'm I'm not seeing change." But the problem with the girl is she hasn't streamed in fucking nine months, right? She doesn't, she doesn't have a YouTube. She doesn't post on TikTok. I'm like, dude, I understand that she wants some help, but you have to help yourself first. So I told her no. And it killed me. It killed me. It really killed me. It didn't kill me to say no. It killed me when she asked why. I said, you're not working hard enough. It killed me. Why did that? Pardon me. Believe honesty was the right answer. Part of me believed that I wanted to make her mad. Because in me, when I was mad, I was making more content. Look at this shit. You still see the, the moon. First time, 
right? <laughs> There's time where people would tell me, hey, your videos aren't gonna work. And uh, I would create content. I would, I would stream for eight hours a day just to prove them, just to prove them wrong. Didn't change shit, I didn't have any viewers. I still put in the work. Consistency. Consistency. If you look at my channel, I get 25,000 videos. Right? Now, okay, okay, okay. 16,000 of them are, uh, 16,000 of them are simple streams. Yeah, but even there, you have to look at it. And I don't understand, but some people have been doing this for years. I, I was uh, chuck, checking Simon Toast Can. I was like, checking PewDiePie. PewDiePie has 1,800 videos on YouTube. Is it a sweet spot? I don't know. I was, thinking, I was looking at Simon Toast Can, who has been doing it for 17 years. And I was looking at, um, it, was, it has 29,000 videos. I was looking at DSP. DSP, again, you can hate him, but he has 60, thousand videos see and the 60,000 videos in 15 years it's not that much but still there's this channel right uh, there's this uh, I don't remember the, the, the channel with the most amount of videos they have like 2 million point one they have point two point one million videos and they're talking about they're talking about fucking electronics how can you do that how can you do two thousand two million videos for that like, it's easy because when you look at my channel, right? When you look at the amount of work that I put in, when you look at the um, thing that I do, easy. I'm talking about everything. I'm doing mukbang. I'm doing um, streams. I'm doing uh, nature corn. I'm doing like precision talk. I'm doing. I'm talking about you guys. I'm doing videos about X and everything. And I'm lucky enough to have a, a array or a variety of interests that is able to come give you a lot of things. For example. If I'm tired of streaming, I'm going to do something else. If I'm tired of doing something else, I'm going to be streaming. If I'm, <laughs> if I'm trying to do, if I feel like you see to this morning, this morning, this part one of this video, because it's going to be a three parts, right? Uh, part one of this video, I was like, okay, this is wonderful, but now is the time to, uh, <laughs> now is the time to. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't fucking remember. See, I made a joke of myself. But even at the beginning of the video, I was talking about, yeah. I, thought I, was, I, I saw a Tim Horton and I said, oh, they make some pizza now. Let's try it out. Very impulsive. And those impu that impulsiveness is um, the result of videos. Like, most of the time you see me come into a video, I don't have anything prepared. I have a subject in mind, but I don't have anything prepared. That's why. But most of those videos are fucking... Their fucking um, impulsiveness. Their like I did a video. I did a video where I said, "Oh, the." <laughs> I feel bad because I'm talking shit about my own content, but hey, somebody's gonna do it. It's me. I did a video on the important cereals in my life. As a kid, do you think I was really planning to do this video? No, I was thankful because I had, I had cereals. And I remember good time with cereals. I was like, "Oh, it could be a good video." <laughs> This is a good video. I don't know. I have no clue. I have no clue what constitute. Because you know, it's weird. Like to me, the reason I'm filming right now is an amazing video. But I'm the creator. I'm not a viewer. And it's weird because even if I was to watch other people on YouTube, I was to watch other content on YouTube. I'm I'm not necessarily the guy to say, hey, this is content, this is the content. For example, um I'm watching a lot of cooking videos lately. I don't know why. Uh, my apologies. I'm watching a lot of cooking videos, and do I have a a certain interest in cooking? Absolutely. Um, am I? Uh, it's not that I'm watching these videos because I don't know how to cook. If I knew, for fuck's sakes, if I knew how to cook, I would be watching those videos. <laughs> for the fish. Yeah, nasty. I don't care. Um, see. If I was able to cook, I wouldn't watch those cooking videos. I think I have an interest for something I cannot do, right? I have, uh, there's this channel that I watch a lot. The Outside Boys, and they're survivalists, and I watch it because I think it's amazing. Uh, I'm watching this channel, vlog, Life with Matt. And it's, I'm sorry to say, Life with Matt is, on one hand, the most 
boring content I've saw in my life. And on the right hand is the most amazing content that's in my life. Why is it boring? It's because it's a dude talking about his life. And I make a 30 minutes video about washing his dog. Right? But on the right hand, it takes it takes a certain talent. It takes a certain a, a want to make a video of 30 minutes, right? Like, hey, I'm cleaning my dog today. I'm going to entertain you for 20 minutes. Now, entertainment and being entertained is all subjective. Um, I was watching Who Can I Have More Fun? Skinny vs. Penny. Again, my favorite show. The show that was instructive in my life. Um, it was um, Who Can I Have More Fun? And the subject was, how do we check it out? And one of the guys on the show said, um, fun. <coughs> fun is subjective and it is subject of the interest. So for example, what he's trying to say is, okay, well, it doesn't matter. We can't, we can't technically define fun, but if we're looking fun for you, then you're the person that we're going to be according to fun. So for example, uh, there's ink A and there's ink B, and ink B things that fucking hitting people and running away and keying cards is fun. Ink A thinks that it's fucked up. Uh, for ink B, this is fun for him. And I cannot, I cannot say, hey, this is not fun because it's it's its own perspective. So entertainment is so fucking weird. But you see the guy that, that was doing the ten minutes to watch his dog. <laughs> we need to take because <sighs> it's a guy grinding. I have I always have a fear when it with a bird on, on top of me that they're gonna shit on me. I don't know why. I heard it's lucky. I rather be unlucky. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, so this guy's entertaining me. Is he entertaining because I understand what it is to be content creator? Is he entertaining because I I understand what he's coming, where he's coming from? Is it entertaining because I somehow get what he's trying to do? Like the cooking, is it the thing to me? But because I cannot do it, it's a it's un unreachable. The so, the outside voice is entertaining to me because I wouldn't be doing that. Right? I'm here. I'm I'm, uh, I'm doing content. About nature, I'm doing nature content. But you think I'm gonna survive here? No, I'm gonna take my skateboard. I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna have a soup or whatever the fuck I want to have, and that's about it, right? <sighs> fuck. I'm tired. I don't know why. I woke up at three. It is uh, five forty-three, and I have to go soon because uh, my 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 storage says I don't have a lot of space left. How nice was this though? I've never been here in my entire life. So people are gonna come here to pe to fish. To fish. For sure. Or and it's weird because if you look at here, there's boats coming in. Then you look at here, you have a place to to have a trailer for your boat. And you look at here. I cannot tell you how useful it is, because I've never seen it. I tell you how useful it could be. I'm just saying. Got it subjective. That's a that's the lesson of today. Like I have this uh, other friend that came in yesterday, Janice. What's up, Janice? Hope you're doing well. And he's telling me about um, he wants to create content, but he doesn't know what he wants to create. So I have to say, well, don't be like me, dude. Don't be positive. Like when I started content, I was lucky enough that my first thing was video games. So if I was tired, I would play a lot of video games. And video games were narrative. They were they had their own story. I was like, okay, well, there's a story that I gotta speak to somebody. There's a story that's gonna be related to somebody. But if I was doing... It's funny because I wouldn't be doing Nature Corn as a first thing on the channel. I wouldn't be doing Mugbang on the first thing on the channel. I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Look at the, look at the pigeon. So cool. Them. I'm getting a tatting, huh? Careful, Inky. Don't press the fucking button to stop this, this the video. Well, not yet, at least. See, I wouldn't be doing mukbang, and I don't think there's nothing wrong with doing mukbang. I, I, I think it's amazing content to do mukbang. I'm watching Nicolado Avocado, and it's funny. I keep on talking about Nicolado Avocado, but the reality is Nicolado Avocado. Um, I begin, I begin to, to dislike him after at the end. Because he was doing, I think it was a, a show, he was humiliating himself for views. 
And I was like, dude, no. And when you look at people, like, for example, I, I, I keep on talking about DSP, I think I'm talking about Nico Cado Cado. Those people actually started with a, a hope of making content. They started with the hope of being somebody. And then they saw that it wasn't working, so they became fucking trolls or fucking low cows. See, I'm watching uh, Boogie, Boogie to 988 lately. And Boogie actually started as a guy who wanted to do the good. He wanted to do good. I think I truly think that he wanted to do good. And then you had this. Uh, you had this this decline in his content. And when you look at it now, the content he's doing is hate bait. So he's actually doing it on purpose to, to bait the haters. And why he wants to bait the haters? He did a video last week about mowing the lawn. Right? And it sucks. It fucking it it pisses me off so much. Because the content, the original content on it was um, I'm gonna mow the lawn, right? And I'm obese. I'm morbidly obese. This is a hard work for me. So that's cool. You, pre you preface it as a challenge, physical challenge for you. That is amazing. But you have to understand that your message doesn't mean shit. Because you're also doing it to, uh, to, to bait people into hating you. Like, oh my god, look at this fucking guy. He's too fat to, make, to, 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 to mow his lawn. And the problem with the video is, I don't know if it's more so, hey, I'm fat, but I'm making an effort to lose weight, or I'm fat, and when I'm making an effort to lose, to, to prove that I can lose it. Um, or are you just baiting haters? And when you look at the other video that he did in the following days, or the day before, they're all eight baits. So you're like, okay, well, this is eight baits. But there was a, a purpose to it. I was watching, oh my fucking God, dude. My fucking God. I was watching uh, Meg Jugger Nuggets documentary yesterday. Now, Meg Jugger Nuggets, and that, we're talking about content, right? Um, we're talking about Meg Jugger Nuggets, and Meg Jugger Nuggets. Um, people were mad at him because he lied. So he created a, he created a. Okay, so he saw that freak out content was popular, so he started doing freak out content that was popular. And he was saying, "Well, nobody's. Oh my God, this is an amazing story, a documentary." So um, what he did was that he, he said, "Okay, well, nobody's doing this content." A lot of people are doing freak out content, but none of them are narratively increasing the content. So that nobody is putting a narrative on it. They just want it to be made. So what he did is he created a scenario on it. And that scenario was supposed to last a year, but it was working so well that it would last two years, three years, four years. And after four years, he, he ended the Psycho series, which was the series he did. And at the end, people were saying, he, he admitted that it was a lie. Now, the guy admitted that it was a lie. And he didn't wait a year. He did the last video, the finale of the series. And he said, it's, it's fake. It's fake. And uh, a lot of people were hating him because it was fake. But I respect more a guy that lies. I, it's fucked up to say. It's fucked up to say. I respect more a guy that lies than a guy that, that does content just to, for haters. And when you look at it, I was looking at the documentary yesterday. And it was about nobody took, nobody took YouTube seriously. Nobody said there was a future in it. And this is what the video is about today. Think about this is my this is my life. This it's hard to realize. I've done the best I can to make them realize this is my life. I hope they understand. And I'm not angry. I'm just saying sometimes goodbye. Again, again, again. Please say please. Encore. Okay, good. Tell my father, tell my mother, I've done the best I can. To make them realize this is my life. I hope they understand. And I'm not angry. I'm just saying. Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. See, he, he took this. He took this. This narrative. Like, okay, fuck it. I'm let's do it. And uh, for four years he did this. He did two streams, two videos a day, and he's editing. I, I, I don't edit. I fucking never edit. And he was promoting his videos on Twitter. He was promoting his videos on Instagram. He was doing Twitch. He was doing Twitch videos. This guy was working hard. Now he's my age. He's 21 and he's retired. And maybe we're gonna. Maybe most of you guys don't don't know who's making Jugger Nuggets. 
maybe most of you guys don't even understand who he is. And that doesn't matter. Uh, fuck what matters. Fuck, fuck your preconceived notion of what matters. Fuck what you think is important. Fuck what you think is not important. Because again, it's subjective. And uh, this guy was like, dude, I lied to you guys, but I was honest about it. I did. I put YouTube on the map. And it's like because nowadays, what is he doing? People are making fun of him because he got, he got, uh, he got, uh, what do call it? Uh, Calvacy. Um, he, missing hair. <sighs> Who gives a shit, dude? It's not his fault. I feel bad, dude. Anywho, um, I have to, I'm starting to have to pee. Oops. I'm gonna go back home. Don't worry, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna keep on doing nature content. I got a lot to say today. I feel like making videos, so fucking let's go. Right?